And also she taught me, you know, the fusion food, they can't use heavy cream and butter because it's so hot. So they change, like, instead of using butter, they'll use lime juice and mango chutney. So I have this big business now called Chef Wonderful on QVC, and I make these dishes, and I got a huge wine business as well. You know, it's, it's sort of, I go on to Chef Wonderful, we, we sell millions of dollars worth of wine, but I did that myself. I, I actually can cook. And I love doing it. So sick. How are you able to turn that into a, a business? Because I love it. Yeah. I mean, you know, what you want to do is basically do businesses that you love doing. I don't mind getting out there and, and cooking. Like, that's fun. I was a chef at Benihana's. <laughs> and five guys. You know, the biggest, and five guys, the yeah. biggest mistake. <laughs> and illegally at my dad's restaurant, I'm like 11. I shouldn't even have been cooking. Everybody makes the mistake of putting too much salt and sugar into food. Mm. You take away the flavor. The, 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 the when they make food the, the Asian fusion way, they only use natural. If you want salt, you add lime. You don't put salt, you add more lime juice. And it gives it a little ting and it makes a much fresher salad, much better fish. I'm totally into that. I don't use any salt anymore. I don't put sugar in my food. It's a great way to cook. That an aura ring? Yeah, no, I'm totally tripped out on this stuff. So yep. aura ring, got a whoop. Yep. <laughs> um, I wear a, a glucose sensor, although I'm not a diabetic. Because I track, I don't want to spike my glucose. Mm. If you want to stay sharp during the day, you got to eat foods that don't spike your glucose. When you, when you hit yourself with three teaspoons of white sugar, you're frying your brain. So like me drinking this coffee right Very now. Very bad. Probably. Fried. Well, you brain shouldn't fried. put sugar in it. So I got into this thing. Um, I was doing some work on CNBC a couple of years ago. And all of a sudden, it's live, right? It was a halftime report. And I felt like I was losing my concentration. I couldn't even remember the stocks we were talking about. So I actually went to see this guy named Richard Isaacs and he said, oh yeah, you're spiking out your brain. If you just simply change your diet, you're going to be much sharper. And he was right. And I, in, in, the, in the process, uh, basically I lost 22 pounds because I don't eat for 16 hours a day. I, you know, I do this intermittent you do fasting. Intermittent fasting? Yes. Yeah, you know what's amazing? It's impossible to do it for the first three weeks. Then you're never hungry again. I haven't so even eaten today yet. I haven't I, either. I, I know I people that swear by 3, that. 4 PM. Yeah. Yeah. It's, the only thing that, it's the only thing that keeps me from becoming... Of way, more of a whale than I currently am. So you're doing it too? Yeah, all the time. I, okay, I don't, so I don't cool. Eat, you get, you get the joke. Yeah. But these things, these track your, you know, I look at my sleep. Yep. What you find so interesting, and this is my biggest weakness, is I love wine. But if, if you drink wine three hours before you go to bed, you really screw up your sleep. Yeah. You get no REM. And so you got it. The best thing to do is get up in the morning and drink in the morning. <laughs> Let's go. Hey. He's a darty. <laughs> he likes the darty. Dude, dude, just imagine him five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> just no, I, I haven't got to that place yet. But so, you know, the, whole I, <laughs> the whole idea is reduce the amount of alcohol you're taking in before you sleep. You know, going back to Mark Roberts, the guy who barely drinks, right? Yeah. It's, he gets the joke on that stuff. He does once in a while, but I go out for dinner with him all the time. We hit every restaurant in Miami to check it out. Woo!